Hello again, first grade. Welcome back to the second part of main lesson on Tuesday, April 21. If you look closely, because he's blending in as squirrels do, Ollie and Squirrel have been being silly up in Ollie's little basket there and invited, so Ollie invited Squirrel there. And you can see now that we're about to start. They've come to the edge and Ollie has his arm around Squirrel and they're watching. And I think Little Bunny is quite curious about what Ollie and Squirrel are up to, as you can see now that you're um, noticing that Squirrel is there. Maybe you saw Squirrel right away and you didn't mean me to tell you. Well, good observing if you did see Squirrel right away. So we're back and you can see little Squirrel is on Number Meadow. So we're going to need Number Meadow and the little friend that you had working with you when you were taking things away. Um, just the way Squirrel had to take nuts away from his, his counting because he lost some. He couldn't find them after he dug them into the ground to store them. And when he came back later, he didn't know where he'd put some of them. So you can get your little guy. So you'll need those two things so far. Number Meadow and your little friend. And then we're going to put the camera down and we won't see Big Squirrel and Ollie then. We'll just see our little Meadow friends. And you'll also need, it's hard to see because it's at the bottom, but uh, your crayon roll, a pencil, and the lined paper when you filled out all the times that Squirrel was helping you sort out how many nuts he'd lost. So it has all the minus equations on it, all the minus problems there. So you can go get those things. Pause the video if you need to and then start it again and you can join in. So today, um, I'll still need you to get one more thing. <laughs> I apologize, I forgot because it's hiding. Under here I have my paper because we'll be drawing a picture of Squirrel in Number Meadow. So you'll need your yellow main lesson book and we'll need to turn it to um, the first blank page, which would probably be after the page when Bunny is hopping in Number Meadow. So you can pause again and, and start up. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our crayon roll. And I have mine down far here, so you probably can't really see them, and that's okay. But I can, and I'll tell you what we'll need. But the first thing we're going to do is look at that lined paper where you filled out at least one whole side with minus equations. And you're going to pick one of them that looks like something you'd like to do for a squirrel to hop on in the picture. Um, I think I want to pick something with a bigger number so he has more distance to hop. So I'll probably pick one of my six ones. And let's see. I think I'll pick this one. So whichever one you pick um, before you do anything with it, we have to remember what color is Prince minus blue. So we'll get out our blue stick crayon and we'll underline the one that we pick. Just like we did with the plus one. We did that with green. So I got my blue, underlined the one I like. So you can pause if you need more time um, and do that and then start back up with us again. So now I have it underlined. I'm going to keep it here. And I'm going to move my crayons down even further. 
and I'm forgetting what I did with number meadow, but I think I must have put it to the side because we need the space to work. So let's see, I'm going to turn my board over, I think, because I have more crayon on that side. So I dirty up just this side more. And um, we had just talked about what color Prince Minus was. So we'll do our border in that color. So what was that? Yep, blue. So you get your blue block crane out and we'll use Mama Bear. And we started the heavens from sunrise to sunset, left to right. And I did forget one detail. Some of you might be asking, which way is this paper facing? <laughs> yes, it's landscape. It's the long, the long way. Um, so you would have your spirals on the top just to keep them out of your way. So I apologize if that threw us off, but you could turn that now. We haven't gotten very far. So again, I went across the heavens, sunrise to sunset, now across the earth, sunrise to sunset, and then the sunrise side, the sun side, heaven to earth. And the sunset side, right, heaven to earth. And then, whoopsie, uh, you can round your corners and do also, pardon me, the, the um, shouting on the inside to crisp it up. Whoopsie. Okay. Might crisp up the top a little more if it will let me. Sometimes it doesn't want to shout so much. Oh, there it's shouting a little bit. All right. You can fill in the corners more if they need it. Or the sides. Okay. Ha! Huh, got that. Now, what do we do to make it the beautiful, bright, sunshiny day? Yes. Get off that beautiful lemon yellow and use Papa Bear alongside here, and um, you can you can do that. You're probably you might notice that my crayon's looking a little bit dirty. Yellow does that so quickly too. Remember, you can always get out an old rag, preferably cotton, the little bit of any kind of oil like you did at school and then just rub it clean. So you can ask mom or dad for an old cloth and some oil and you could clean your crayons anytime. You could even clean them during our read aloud Zoom times like we used to in class. We would clean them during our read aloud. Let's see. Get all that sunshine all over the place because the sun touches everything usually. It doesn't doesn't it doesn't say no you can't have some sun. It, it'll go to anyone who will let it. See there. <laughs> Alright. Now get that a little more in the center. Now um with Princess Plus, of course, she makes it easier with her color because there's the grass already, huh? But what I think I might do this time, you can check on your other main lesson book page. I have to go over here. I think that, okay, I think what I'm going to do is 
get my green for the grass, the meadow, and put it above the blue. So I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with Mama Bear and go across and then I can fill it in. And I'm gonna leave it blank over here a little bit because I realized I want to get that tree. We have to grow our tree too. So I've got it like this and a little blank spot here. I'll fill it in more too, but just getting started. And um, tree. What color is a tree? Yes, brown. We have to put our seed in the ground. There's our seed getting ready to sprout and grow into a beautiful, strong tree. So here we go. It grows up to the sunshine. Whoopsie, and it knocks down the bird and the squirrel tree. My goodness gracious. Sometimes we get so strong we don't realize how strong. We knock those things down. Okay, here we go. Tree is still growing. Up, up, all the way reaching for the sun that helps it to grow and putting its feet further and further into the earth to suck up that yummy water. It gets, uh, the tree gets so thirsty. Up, up we go. I think, yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna add a little more to the roots as they're growing and darkening the tree part. I'm going to add branches growing out and more. Like that, coming out, they grow up and out. And trees have so much color to them. Remember the other two colors that we add to the trees to both warm them up with the fire from the sun and, and give them water life that they suck up from the ground? Yep, the warm sun red. And we can add just whispers of it to our tree. And then we have a lot of the blue over here. I'm going to add more of the watery blue to the part that doesn't have it. There. Oops. Keeps wanting to knock down squirrel. All right, there. Loveliness. And put that back and the red back. Um, and then we'll add the leaves in with the green. And I'm doing them lighter. I'm going to add a darker shouting with the yellow when the green is on because since it's still spring, these are new, fresh leaves and they tend to be a little bit lighter green. So I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna press too hard and get that really dark green right now. Just the lighter. Keep it light and springy. fun to have it go off the page a little bit into the border okay and I'm gonna add um, add that yellow sunshine or really it's yellow sunshine but also the the light green new leaf look. So shouting bits of that in there. And it has some from the sunny sky already. There we go. And now that I have the yellow again, I'm going to go over to the corner and get that beautiful dark shouting hot sunshine bright and lovely. And then I'm going to add the golden yellow with Mama Bear. Get it shouting. This is where it can really get strong and big. And then rays can come, come out. And then I love
love to add a little bit of the orange in for the hottest part of the sun there. There in the middle center. Enough to kind of give it that darker, hot feeling. And then I want to go back to my grass because I kind of left that. It looks pretty good though, but I think I might just even it out a little more and get the get it next to the tree a little nicer. So I'm going to do more of shouting at the top and then less so as I go down to the bottom towards the blue. Just fill it in and add a little bit of grass there by the tree. And they're just little bits of the grass. And um, then we can start writing our numbers. So again, I'll get mine out. And the one I picked goes up to six. Six is the biggest number, but I'm gonna go one past. So I'm gonna go up to seven, just so it's not right there, stopping right at the one at the end. What number do we need first to start our number meadow? egg, right? So zero. I'm going to put it here next to the grass. So we start with our zero with nothing. And then we get our thumb in there, just like we did with our number meadow and the plus before. And we start writing our number. So you might be going a little higher or a little lower, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go up to seven. You're welcome to keep going for fun if you'd like, but I'm just going to keep it there. And then get my paper again, because now, just like we did with the plus, we're going to put the problem, the equation we picked, we're going to put it up at the top, in between the tree leaves and the sun. So what colors do we need to do that? Which stick crayons? Yeah, we're going to need the blue for minus and the equal sign purple for emperor equals. Okay, so, oh, I took my paper too far away. I have it here. Can you see it? I can see it too. So yours is going to be different, remember, or you could do the same that I'm doing. That's fine too. Um, so here, I'm going to do mine, you do yours. Six minus two equals four. And then we'll get squirrel to help out. That means we start with six, because that's how many he had started with that he gathered in the first place. But he couldn't find two, so take away two that he couldn't find. One, two, and there he has four left that he did find of the nuts. Did I say squirrels? I hope not. Nuts that he couldn't find. Um, and four that are left. So we're going to draw a squirrel. Or you have your special little friend that you could draw. I'm going to draw him leaping from the six to the four, just like he did now, to take two away. So you can get whatever colors you need to draw your little friend. 
I'm going to get brown. And let's see. You can come up here to watch. And I don't really need this anymore. Hmm. Because after I do that drawing and you do yours, then we can add the, the plants, the flowers, the butterflies, things like that. All right. So I'm going to use him to help me think of his jump. Almost like Bunny. He's a little bit slighter than Bunny. And here's his body kind of arching like a little rainbow across. So you could do something like that. Or however it works for your little guy. He's got his big haunches back there and his tummy. And he's leaping from the six. And got his little head here. And his little ears that are triangle, little triangle ears. And his paws. Reaching forward. And it's hard with this a block crayon too for sure. So if you're using brown too, it's a block crayon and they're not as easy as the stick or a pencil even. But here we are. There's his little front legs reaching. I'm gonna make more of a tummy. Oops, that was a little bigger of a tummy. Didn't want it that big, but we'll work with it. There we go. Oh, what's he missing? A bushy what? <laughs> a big bushy tail. So we're going to get his big bushy tail going. Kind of, kind of hopping with him. And when you're done with your guy jumping, let's see. We're going to show, which I, I did first on the other one, so I didn't hear. I think with the blue, because we did green, I'm going to do it below, because we started at the six and then hopped to the four. So you can show it that way. With the two bigger dots showing how it went. Let's see. Having trouble finding my my points here on my crayon. Let's try this. There we go. I think. All right. So there's the little squirrel jumping. Um, then we can add our flowers and such. Just like our meadow, you can even look back at your meadow if you'd like to see what you might want to add where or not, or make it different if you'd like to. Maybe it's a different way of looking at your meadow, your number meadow. So I'm going to add some in. See Bunny there. Here. Just getting the stems growing first. The flowers bud a little bit later. We might do a big sunflower here. There, sort of the beginnings of one. Hmm. 
and you can start adding them in. And you can also, well, we'll do a little more together, and then we can finish on our own too. That's the head facing up. Yeah, I'll get the, the sunflower parts. The head facing up. First in light yellow. Now I like to do the darker. Golden yellow. Some little purple sunflower seeds in there. And a little bit of orange even. So that's one flower and we can finish the flowers. You can pause the video and press play when you've finished all your flowers. Maybe added a little bit of um, those flies, those little teeny bugs that fly in the air and they look um, so pretty with the sun reflecting off of them. Butterflies, things like that. And then you can join us again just for the very end of our second video for today. So don't remember, or don't remember, don't forget, uh, do remember to do your reading today. You can check in with mom and, or dad about what it is. And um, if you would like, you can say our end of main lesson verse and blessing together. It's one of those videos where I'm outside. And you could also do another video after the school day is done or at the end of the school day when we say to wonder at beauty together. Otherwise, have a lovely rest of your day and we'll say goodbye to our friends. We have all our netter friends. Oh, this squirrel wants to get up to say goodbye too. And also we have um, our other friends, Willow and Ollie and their mom and Big Squirrel. So we'll see you next time. Goodbye.